everyone. Welcome to Fitz's Guinea Vision. Yes, I am sitting in my bathroom because it's the only space where I could plug it in and get some kind of peace and quiet away from my cat. Sorry, it almost fell. It's not balanced right. Anyways, what I want to quickly talk to you about is why having too big of a guinea pig cage can be a bad thing. Have, if, have you, when you're trying to pick up your guinea pig and you want to bond with them or cuddle with them, I bet a lot of you are going to try and tell me that they run away from you, they, you don't think they like you or they hate you, and it's normal behavior for them to run away from you. But if you have two guinea pigs, two guinea pigs, one, two, if you have two, and you have them in a cage, let's say... that's 26 square feet, that's way too much space. They don't need that much space. And if you try to go capture them, it's gonna make it next to impossible to catch them because they're just gonna keep running away from you. Now you don't want them in a little tiny box either. You want them to have enough space that they can run around and exercise. But you also want to be able to capture them in an emergency, if you ever have to evacuate your home, your home for whatever the reason, you want to be able to pick them up. You want to be able to capture them. So, if you have two guinea pigs, ten, ten and a half square feet is like the perfect amount of space for them. And it's great if you want to provide them more, that's fine. But it's just little things to keep in mind. Now, if you have a larger herd and you have more guinea pigs, and let's say you have like five guinea pigs, then having a 26 foot square f or 26 square foot cage is good size for that. But if you only have two, you don't need an enormous amount of space because that would be like trying to find a needle in a haystack. And I know some of you are thinking, well. The Heidi's and and you know their tunnels and you know the hay rack or whatever method you use it takes up so much space and that's why you want to make sure you have the you know the preferred amount of space for them because yes they do take up a lot of space but if you only have two guinea pigs you only need let's say two Heidi's and a tunnel and your your food and water and your wherever you keep your hay. But if you have, let's say, two guinea pigs and you have a 26 foot enclosure. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you've seen what my trio's cage looks like. You've seen what my pair looks like, the size. It's, they're both 13.6 square feet. If you took away that separation grid in the middle, that would give you 27 point one square feet because I use 14 inch grids and if I only had two guinea pigs in a big long space like that there there's but like, there's just no way of being able to you know capture them if I had to evacuate with them for any reason so you want to take things like that into consideration as well now it's okay to give them floor time. It's okay if you, like, I know there's a lot of people that keep their guinea pigs in store-bought cages and a lot of us in the guinea pig community don't necessarily approve of that, but there's a lot of people out there that have, um, I guess, think of the right words here like I guess they have a lack of space and it's okay to have a guinea pig's home base being in like a store-bought cage like you know let's say when you're at home you set up like a, a, a play area or an X pen or whatever it's okay to let your guinea pigs be in that area and then at night or when you leave the house, you just you put them in their home base, being this, the cage. 
that is okay to do. I know in the past I used to talk against that kind of thing, but that's the beauty of having an open mind and growing and learning is that sometimes things that I used to believe in before, I don't necessarily believe in now. Or sometimes things that I didn't believe in before, I do believe now. I think I basically just said the same thing, just in different wording. I've tried recording this video like three different times now, and no matter how many times I record it, I'm just not happy with how it sounds. There's no way I'm gonna perfect this video. I know some people will take like 10 different tries before they get the perfect video, and I don't think I'll ever get the perfect video. Um, I've always had a struggle with communicating and with coming out with the right choice of words. So this is gonna be the video. I'm hoping that you understand what I'm trying to get at. Um, if you're wondering why I'm in the bathroom, it's because it's the only spot where I can plug my phone in and use this at the same time without getting distracted from the animals. The first uh, four times I tried to record this video, I was in the guinea pig room, and I, anytime I heard rumble strutting or, you know, little tooth chattering or anything, I, I'd get distracted and start looking that way. So yeah, I'm in the bathroom so I can not have to worry about that distraction, but I do have to get ready for bed. It is getting late and I have a headache coming on, which is not cool. But, um, yeah, I hope you learned something from the video. I'm not sure what kind of content everybody is looking for. So, I just keep trying different things, um, sharing my opinion or my thoughts about things. You don't have to agree. If you do agree, that's great. Um, if anyone has any comments, feel free to leave the comments below. And uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful day.